What's up guys, my name is Infinite. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is right around the corner, actually 20 something or more days, and it's just slowly creeping up on us. A lot of hype going on here on YouTube. I am actually doing a countdown on Twitter, so if you guys want to keep up with that, go follow me on Twitter at InfiniteXZ. And without further ado, let's talk about today's video, which is going to be centered around digital copies versus hard disk copies. Now, Charlie and Toe came up with information that you can actually pre-download your pre-order of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare if you bought it digitally on the Xbox One, the next generation consoles, and perhaps Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Now, what caught my attention is absolutely the sheer size of this game uh, with all these new textures that uh, developers are putting into the game and just the, the very very nice aesthetic look of the games it has to come with a cost and of course that is the size of the game now most of the next generation consoles can keep up with this storage uh, they have 500 gigab gigabytes hard drive so it's plenty of room to house this game which is 45 gigabytes that's a huge huge game and talking about that we can also put this in with what I was talking about, what this topic of this video would be, is hard disk versus digital copies and internet. Uh, personally, at home, I have a 3 megabit, I think I'm saying it right, megabit download speed, so it's very, very lacking in that aspect. 3 is just horrible, uh, but I get around with it, uh, playing online and stuff, but... Uh, for a battlefield update that ranges around 1 gigabyte to 4 gigabytes, it takes around 30 minutes to 2 hours to complete. And guys, just look at this game. 45 gigabytes would probably take me a whole 2 days just to fully download this game. And just because of that, I think I personally wouldn't ever get a digital copy. Uh, I would rather drive to GameStop, a 30 minute drive back and, and to GameStop. And, and then play Call of Duty Advanced Warfare in an hour instead of downloading it for a straight two days. It just, uh, it's not convenient for me, not at this time. Even at 10 megabits down or maybe even 20 megabits down, uh, most people have problems trying to get uh, very, very low download speeds. We are talking about 45 gigabytes. Not even if you have, say, just 100 down, it's still going to take you quite a bit of time to get that game into your storage. So with that said, 45 gigabytes, huge, huge, huge uh, download that we're looking at here. And I think that's one of the main reasons why digital copies are not picking up as fast as developers or maybe Xbox or PlayStation would like it to be. It's because most of us have an internet speed ranging around 6 to maybe 10 or 20 megabits down. And that's just in America. You probably will get faster, higher speeds in places like Europe because of states and not the states, but the countries are more compact and thus you get better infrastructure than here in the states. But overall, that's why we're not really seeing a general increase in digital copies. Sure, you can get them cheaper with better incentives, but just personally, the download speed is not really uh, something that I'm looking forward to when I buy a digital copy of the game. So till then, I think I'll be sticking to the hard copy. What do you guys think? Do you like digital or the hard copy? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, make sure to like the video, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.